Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along, you saw that I just cut down that tree and cut it up, the ash tree. And we had a we had an issue before we started was I was sharpening the chain and I couldn't roll it forward. See how it rolls now? I couldn't do this to sharpen it. I had to loosen it up super loose so that it would jump jump over the cog to be able to sharpen. And I got it sharp, but what we had to do was take this apart here. I like this model saw because, you know, tool is kind of cool. You loosen that up about a turn and a half or so. And this assembly comes off. I started looking at the wear on everything here. You see this? That catches your chain. That's really caught the chain. Everything else works good. There's some wear right here. And there's a little wear on the bar. It's original bar to be expected. Take the chain off. We can see that, yeah. Um, we had some plastic around the brake assembly that overheated. I don't know if wood chips got in there or whatever, but it got hot and it wouldn't allow this clutch to turn. When you started to saw up, it would turn. It'd have enough power, but by hand you couldn't do this, so you couldn't rotate the chain. So then I got looking at it, and if you remember over the winter, I think it was, we were monkey with this a little bit to do the same thing. And I did not order any parts, but I probably should have. We'll take this off. This covers your oil. I put this in the parts washer. The whole thing washed it up so it was a little cleaner and I hosed it off. So it's definitely cleaner. Um, what I want to do is order a brake assembly because what's happening is you hear it clicks. You see this band, but it's not pulling in. And there's damage up here at this spring from this overheating. So it's not applying enough brake tension to stop it. That's on right now. So it's dangerous. Your chain's still going. You set the saw down. It's running. It could bump the ground. Um, whatever. I want the brake to work. So I was going to order just a brake assembly, but... I want to make sure I'm getting the right parts. Um, the oil assembly is working because it runs out of oil about the same time as it does gas. So that seems to be oiling fine. And I'm not too familiar. I've never ordered a brake assembly before. Um, I believe that you have to order more than that on this model because I probably got to get this outside plastic it's missing I'm not sure if it's part of the assembly so let me take this apart looks like it's a Torx 25 or a flathead and there's one two three there's one behind there yeah four and this part goes to there. I don't know. Let me start with those four bolts. Let me get a tool. Take this apart before I order anything. Make sure I do it properly. Alright, I've got some screwdrivers out. It is a 25. I want to take this apart because when I looked it up online, you can get inside parts, you can get outside parts, and um, I just want to make sure I get enough and I got to find out if it's worth it because I paid a hundred bucks for this saw like eight years ago I think it's been about that long been a pretty good saw all except for running issue they make the emissions you know make them run so lean that it'd be nice if you can richen it up but um I haven't had to tear it apart. And you know when you're running it, you're running it wide open. Most of the time. I had one of the original Polands, the green, and 
I think it was called an eager beaver or something and uh, that was a good little saw and that was like a hundred bucks new this was new in a box that somebody didn't use and they sold it let's see what I can take off here yeah so what this will take off is just a brake assembly I wanted to find out if I need ugh. oh it's just crap down in there I thought this was melted too well it is uh, so yeah it melted it got hot real hot look at this plastics all And these start around $25. But this back assembly is bad also. This brake part, as I won I was I didn't know if it was part of this backing. It's a spring here. That's just oil. So I could clean the rest of this up, but in here, another screwdriver. Yeah, it's gunk in there, but that's definitely got some damage on this. I <sighs> wonder if I need it, you know. Otherwise, it looks like this part number would be this whole part. And I think that's an oil tank assembly. I don't want to get into buying a bunch of body parts. I'll be up to the cost of a new saw. And the other thing I wanted to see is see the wear on this sprocket on the clutch assembly. And this band of the clutch is a lot of wear on it. Get some of the grease off it here. definitely got a deep groove in it so there's no sense of buying a brake and keeping this in that's kind of like buying brake pads and not putting rotors on or putting rotors on using the old brake pads don't make a lot of sense so I should order a clutch and then order this part the band and the ones I looked up some of them show this side and some just show this side and then some show with the with the arm on there I just want to make sure I got the right one here's a part number some of the part number 530057899 so I can look that up to see if it matches and like I said this band has a damage on it so I definitely would have to get a clutch a sprocket you know the sprockets attached to the clutch and I think you can buy buy the um, let's take it apart we can buy the prop this up the uh, what am I trying to say the the pads they're like a little brake pad separate I wanted to see if they come with it no sense of putting part of the parts in there so sir clip Well, this is different than the photo I looked at. Look on the inside. I got more tree cutting to do, so I got to make sure the saw is going to work good for me and safe too. So clean this off. There's a roller bearing, needle bearing right there. Looks in good shape, but. The band, cut your fingernail on it, and then the inside, so you got a brake and a band, and your clutch part swings out 
The springs are good. There's no no grooves or nothing in those. But see the plastic had gotten hot in here. See that? I don't know how that's gonna mess with me. What I'll do is here's a number here. Yeah, it says tank right on it. So it's a tank assembly. And I would imagine it goes all the way around and splits here in the center. Right? Right here, you put oil in this side. Unless you're buying a whole tank assembly, but probably. Ugh, I don't want to get into spending that much. Not for an old saw. So, uh, this is a point where you decide whether you're going to buy anything or if you're going to go all the way or not. I think what I looked up, this is around 25 to 40 depending on what company. This, I forgot how much it was, 15 and up. This definitely has deep grooves in it. There's real no, no real reason to leave an add on there. And then if you're getting a new band assembly, why would you want to put it on the old clutch housing? So I'd get this and this for sure. And then I'd decide if this is still salvageable. Um, oil comes out here, right there. Don't think that affects it. What would overheat it? I don't know. I could probably come in and clean this out better. Heat up the soldering iron or something. Clean this out so that... I don't know. It looks like it's supposed to sit down inside there better. There's a lot of clearance here and no clearance up here. And hear it up here. So I would have to clean all of this out up here. Yeah, it's bent over plastic. So I don't know if that's a poor design. I don't know what's the deal. Something hot got in there. Hmm. Hmm. What would you do? Put it in the comments, right? Throw it out. Get a real saw. I don't do enough cutting to buy a $500 on up chainsaw. I'd love to have one of them still that's um, fuel injected. But that's probably a hassle too. Something wrong with that. It's big expense. So my guess is I'm going to buy the brake the the sprocket with the housing and clean this out because I, I don't think I want to buy that. I'm going to look up how much one of these is and if it's you know 20 bucks I'd probably do it but if it's a $50 bill now we're talking 50 75 100 and mm, 10 tax I don't know I only paid a hundred bucks for the saw in the box new I'm sure it's a two hundred dollar saw but it's what I paid for it um let me make my decision I'm going to look up online and see what we can do with this and uh get out of it the most economical way well I ordered it what I got was, when you look at the end of this sprocket, three slash eight, three eighths. So that's proper. Clutch drum is like $10.50. So, like I said, it's foolish not to get it with a brake. 
and then it cures two things you know it gets rid of the groove and then it gets rid of the you know the wear on the sprocket so I got one of them coming and this I got this coming too the part number is different I was going to get it on eBay but it's the sell one seller was out of town the other one didn't give me a good enough picture to understand it and so I went back to the old Amazon and the only thing with that is it says it's non-returnable and I searched it by this part number and then I searched it by model number and it says model number part number is different the picture looks the same except on this side the pin is in it so it sticks up this high with a pin in it and I thought well that's not it but then I came in here and this pin comes right out so if the pin was in here the picture looks the same that's off center should drop down in there and it's not but it's off center so it's not dropping down in so it really looks the same and it's possible that it's removable if it's not I could just install it this way so I ordered it and the problem like I said is it's non-returnable non usually Amazon you can return anything but they don't want it back so I'm hoping it's right and it was $25 and I said well 40 bucks might as well get it or half price of the saw almost in the meantime I'll come in here and clean all this plastic out so that the new clutch drum will fit right down in there and not rub on this high side and get rid of this on eBay I could get this and it was quite a lot but with it you get the oil assembly oil pump this side you get the fuel um, priming bulb and lines and, and I thought I don't want to dismantle the whole saw so <clears throat> I'm going to go this route and I'll start cleaning this up then I'll go ahead and assemble it because I got to wait a few days I don't want to lose parts throw this back together and wait for it hurry up and wait I don't need the saw for a couple of days anyway we got to find the next time to take another tree down but if I was going to order those body parts, you know, you can rebuild the whole saw and it makes no sense to me. Because what I didn't like was this thing, this wear, the wear across here, you know, you can keep right on going, the parts out of here. I think there's a little tab broke on here. So, you know, when do you quit? When do you say when? enough's enough so I'm gonna clean this up I'll get out some kinda of sharp tool and I'll get rid of all this like plastic down flat here so it's not rubbing any of this that's bent over like that see that moving get this cleaned out of here I'll probably take it over in the parts washer and clean all this out so I can see it better and then I'll blow it off and then uh, we'll be ready for our new parts 40 bucks I can handle that so I'll get them coming and then I'll reassemble when we're ready well rather than putting it back I'm gonna clean this out right now and so I'm gonna use a couple different things here I plugged in this little solder iron I don't know if it's hot enough yet I want to melt some of this plastic and get it out of here Got melted once. Let's get it out of here. You don't want it hitting our new clutch, you know. Big piece of plastic, see it? So I would imagine maybe a spark got in there. Could be a piece of wood, you know, wood chip. But something got this awful hot.
work never ends, does it? Fix something and then something else breaks. <sighs> Is it the right way? Probably not. Throw it in a garage sale and let somebody else worry about it? I don't know. And I gotta fork out another, I don't know, the way the inflation is. Probably 250 for the same saw now. Like I said, what I liked about this one was simply the hands free. There always seemed to be monkeying with your chain on the old saw. And it was always full of wood chips tightening up here. I hated that. And there's big chunks of plastic in here. Look at that. Um, and this tightening system works really good. I like it. Probably more homeowner friendly, you know. Just making room for that clutch drum. Sure, it's not good to breathe this plastic. I'm outdoors. Tailgate on a truck is a perfect working height. This tailgate has that step in it. You pull this bar and you got the step in the handle to walk up in. Rarely have I used it because I got the cap on the truck. So the tailgate's not flat. Be nice if it was a piece of plywood you can clamp to it, whatever. A nice workbench. I like working on a tailgate. See how well we did on the bottom. There's nothing in the way now. There's still a bunch of junk up here. Lots. Seems like they make a material a little bit better for higher temperature than black ABS plastic, whatever. Chainsaws, what are they, 10, 12,000 RPM? Really close tolerance. It's going to get hot. I'm happy that tree's gone though. It's pretty windy right now. Tops of the trees, probably 20 mile an hour wind. <coughs> Some of them branches were gonna come down, hit the building. Not good. This winter, you know, get a little snow load on them. But it's looking better. See, there's a gap pretty much all the way around it. Let's see. Good gap here, not up here. You can kind of see a groove right here. Where it's supposed to be. Almost done. Put it in the parts washer, clean it all up. Parts will be here, I think it said three days. So I remember when Prime was next day, it was pretty fast.
part of the reason I get my a lot of my car parts off from Amazon or eBay is free delivery on a lot of it, you know. Working on the car you want to drive to town to get parts for, you know. Don't always work. There's a big chunk of plastic. Come out of there. There. Working, I think. The redneck way, right? I think if this fits in there, the clutch will fit down in there. Getting hot. See why this won't work. All right, let's see what that did. And better all the time. A little bit here, a little bit there, and the rest of it has clearance now. I would imagine when it's running, it's going to make clearance because it's going to warm up anyway, but plastic expands. I don't want it to touch it. Go a little farther right here. Don't do this at home. I don't want to try that brake assembly on here. Make sure it slides down good. I think we just about got her. So, there's a little bit right there. See what we got. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see how the brake fits on there. And that has to clear through here. There was a bunch of junk on it. Fits, boys. Plastic's all melted up in here, so that's why the brake doesn't work. Well, now it's working. Look at, look at. I'm sure you're not supposed to see the chain from the front side, so getting a new one coming is a good thing. Yeah, don't always click. So. I guess. Thanks for watching. I'm just going to reassemble. I'm going to take it in the parts washer and wash this out. Get all the gunk out of there. And then I might as well do this too for what I don't know. But wash them two out. And reassemble. In a couple days I'll put her back together. 
and that should work fine. Nothing really to see. We're just going to um, put our new clutch drum in. Put this little guide on. Put our clip on. Put our brake assembly in this way. And put our four screws in. And then we'll put our oil cover on. Covers a, I don't know, I guess oil cover. Keeps the junk out of it. Put our bar and chain back on, our cover on. We're all set. So, I don't know. I thought I'd spend a few minutes on this before I order so I don't order wrong parts. I, don't, I hate to buy parts and return them. So, maybe I'll show this. Here's the plastic I got out of there. Stuff like that. A lot of junk down here from overheating. So, we shall see you soon.